I'm Councillor James O'Shea, Portfolio Leader of the Infrastructure Committee. Within the Infrastructure Portfolio, we had a very productive 2016-2017 financial year. As part of our responsibilities as a council, we are working to continue to provide safe and sustainable transport options, working to provide car parking that meets the needs of our community, drainage infrastructure that addresses a huge variety of situations across the region and safe and reliable aerodromes in a number of locations. The Toowoomba Aerodrome recorded almost 24,000 aircraft movements during 2016-17. We were also busy working with other levels of government, such as our successful joint emergency services training exercise on the Toowoomba Aerodrome's grass runway. We've invested in new technology that has enabled greater flexibility for car parking. This included automated pay stations and the continued rollout of credit card and paywave technology at selected locations. Parking fee tariff changes were implemented across the region, including updates to car park signage and collection equipment. Parking occupancy rates remain strong in the Toowoomba CBD, with around 15,000 movements per week. The construction of a new car park along Roger Gard Lane at Middle Ridge State School helped to improve student safety during the busy after-school pickup time. Ongoing road corridor revitalisation saw Council transform Toowoomba's northern CBD via the Ruthven Street North Streetscape Upgrade project. This included significant upgrades to water mains, stormwater systems, power cables placed underground, LED lights, new paved footpaths, landscaping and installation of public artworks. 27 additional car parks in our CBD for a total of Ruthven Street North of 61. We've improved safety by making it a 40 km hour zone. We've continued to encourage residents and visitors to choose active forms of transport by making use of the expanded footpaths and cycleway networks. Council started work on the cycle and pedestrian paths in and around the City Golf Club along West Creek, completing the missing link between the CBD and USQ, as well as bike lanes in Baker Street near USQ between West and Platt Streets. Transport and drainage responded and completed over 5,000 customer service requests. This increase on the past year included 773 land access certificates, 953 heavy vehicle permits and 306 works on roads permits. I'm proud of the work we are doing and the infrastructure we're building to help us to continue to grow into the years ahead.